Hello and welcome to the podcast. This welcome. Is, this is a new everybody. podcast. It, it might have been like demon possessed. It was a fairly large, mutated looking chicken. We were born in the north, but we grew up in the south. We learned all of our words from Pennsylvania. And people are like, that toboggan. That little toboggan. It's not there. a toboggan. <laughs> toboggan is a sled. Okay. Yo, point three is just baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can't take it. You said that you have been licensed to do something. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't officially got my license yet, but I've done all the testing and stuff for it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this is not the only machine I'm doing this. Day. We have three different machines at my work lows that I can operate, and I've already tested on two of them. Mm-hmm. I just need to get the third one done. Yeah, and then I'll get my license for all of them. The what they call the order picker—that's mm-hmm. the one I want to talk to you about. The forklift—you probably know what that is. That's mm-hmm. essentially just picking up pallets with this big machine. Yeah. Then, not what, one you sit on, one you stand on, right? No, that's that's the sit on one. And then the third one, the what order, I was about to say, the order picker. No, the order picker is. I'm confused. The forklift is what you're talking about—the sitting down one. Yeah. The stand up one that you're talking about. <laughs> is this what they call i don't know the official name for it, but they just call it the star wars okay um it's essentially just a small forklift but the one i want to talk to you about the mm-hmm. order picker mm-hmm. it's essentially just a pallet on two forks that is attached to a thing that goes up and down and all you have is a harness mm-hmm. that's attached to the top and then you put this harness on and stand on a pallet, basically. Okay. Um, there's like the machine, but then there's a pallet that reaches out. Yeah. Over it on two forks. They're not attached. I mean, there's like a small clamp, but it doesn't help. It still rocks. Mm-hmm. And for my testing, I had to strap myself in. All it is is just like one strap going up here. And the guy said, okay, we're going to get you out into the middle of open so you're not you're not next to anything like a rack or like a shelf or anything and just maybe go straight up and probably about i don't know i don't want to say 30 feet yeah i would say 30 but i don't know if that's well you you work at lowe's most lowe's buildings are the same height yeah pretty high well i was outside yeah you were up above the up above the building right? i was just not up above i was probably just at okay so as tall Um, as a lowe's building yeah okay and the guy said, okay, stand out in the middle of the pallet. And I had to walk out into this pallet. It started, like, what, swaying yeah. a bit. Yeah. And it just, it shakes when you walk on it. And you're scared of heights. I'm a little bit scared of heights, yeah. Um, I'm enough to force myself not to, but I, I was definitely, my legs were definitely shaking. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of heights myself. Um, I, we weren't when we were younger. I've always been scared of heights. I wasn't. I just didn't want to say it because I was I was afraid of what people might think of me uh, if they knew I was afraid of heights. So I didn't yeah. say it when I was younger. But I am pretty scared. I'm more. I'm not like super scared of heights. I, like this past weekend, I was out on a like a tw- ten or twelve story parking garage at the top, and I was like trying to walk out onto the edge, close on like the little. Yeah. I don't know, the little thing that keeps people from falling off, the little wall, mm-hmm. you know? And I was trying to walk out on the edge of it, and I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> but uh, but I'm more scared of seeing other people close to the edges. A funny story. I actually, this was like a really busy day um, during COVID when everybody was busy in the store. It was like really like a rush hour in our store, basically. Mm-hmm. And this old guy, this really grumpy old guy, he comes up to me because I was just standing there. And he's like, I'm trying to get this one item that's on the top shelf, like right here. There's a ladder right next to it. I'm either going to climb up this ladder myself or you're going to do it for me. And I'm like, okay, you're not allowed to as a customer because you could get hurt and then those would be liable. Me as an employee, I can. So I started climbing up the ladder. I got the piece of a uh, 
the item he needed. Item, yeah. And as I was walking down, he's like, oh, great. I've been waiting forever. And I got the only guy that's scared of heights because <laughs> he could tell like I was getting shaky. Was he, was he genuinely upset or was he? He was genuinely upset because like he hadn't been helped for like a significant amount of time. <laughs> he's like, the only guy that's afraid of heights because yeah. you're like shaking. <laughs> but I, I feel like I've gone on the ladder. I'm I'm pretty comfortable on a ladder now. It's just getting on that <laughs> order picker, man. That's going to be bad. It'll be all right. Yeah. Just don't fall off. I, I can't. They, I'm harnessed in. But well, it just feels like you could. Um, so something happened yeah. a few days ago. Well, actually, first, I want to talk about an opportunity that I have coming up because it's kind of like, freelance wise work stuff yeah um so i'm going i'm going to be doing if all goes well and things don't fall through i'm going to be doing like a three-part humorous narrative story commercial thing for fishing shirts yeah yeah which is pretty cool it's like a freelance gig that um, i'm doing for someone i know so uh but i'm just going to be shooting with black magic camera mm-hmm. um i don't I you, wrote, you I had to concept these ideas out and write them in screenplay format. So it kind of feels like I'm making three micro short films. Yeah. You shot a video for this guy before. He yeah. has a gun company, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, he made 1911 handguns and now he's, he's like an entrepreneur guy. He just likes starting businesses. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to do this, uh, fishing merch like shirt. Um, it's a really cool shirt, but. Uh, he he wants like a campaign with videos online to advertise them. So he's got me to do it. Okay, I mean I guess that's smart. But yeah, if you have an audience, you this, can this is kind of my first my first opportunity to do work like that. That's more like narrative, like an, a commercial, like a Geico commercial, yeah. but like for something else. You know, that's that's funny, but it has like a narrative aspect to it. I don't want to throw off topic, but did you hear? And this might be a been a couple weeks i know it's been a couple weeks now because i remember when it happened Mm -hmm. um you know the show dancing with the stars yes carol baskin yeah from the show tiger king that everybody hates Mm -hmm. or loves or whatever they their motion to it is i hated it to be honest Mm -hmm. it was way too popular and it was so kind of weird yeah you know she went on dancing with the stars I would say a month or so in that go now. Mm-hmm. It's been a couple of weeks. But during that, her family of her dead husband or missing husband, they don't know where he is, put out an ad accusing her of murdering their husband. Did you see that? No. Did you not know about this? Wait, her current husband put out something that said she did murder no. her first husband. Do you remember the sh- in the show? You watched yes. the show. It's all about her, and maybe she killed her husband, basically. Well, it's also about Joey Exotic. Yeah. (laughs) Obviously. But but the big part of her story is she probably killed her husband. We don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, she just kind of. And it's never been proven, so she's not. She can't be accused by law or anything. Mm -hmm. She went on Dancing with the Stars because she's really popular. Yes. Her husband, who they think is dead, who went missing. His family, oh, it's like his sisters. His family, and okay. His family paid money to have a commercial played during that show accusing her of killing their husband. How did she react? I don't know how she reacted, but it was very weird to watch. Well, so, uh, if she did it, she has to come to justice somehow. She does, but nobody can prove that she did anything. So Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. She definitely did. <laughs> you think she would be on Dancing in the Stars, though, if she did? Yeah, she's a psycho. Yeah, she is pretty weird. Um, speaking of phenomenons, I guess, there's Mr. Beast. He is. Everyone knows and loves, kind of. Um, he's really popular right now. He's on his, he's, he's growing like crazy on YouTube. If you don't know who Mr. Beast is, you should look it up on YouTube. Yeah, um, he's a very popular YouTube, and he got popular by making videos of giving money away, and giving, 
the, whatever I would say money the, to describe Mr. Beast in two ways: giving away money, like all his money that he's made, basically not all of it because he he's made a lot. Mm-hmm. Most of the money he's made, except for like enough for to support himself, he's given away to people. That's it basically his videos. Yeah. And then the second thing, a video videos that videos because he made multiple of these that got him really popular is promoting PewDiePie mm-hmm. on at places like the Super Bowl or just buying trucks to drive around everywhere. So promoting. instead of like the the common like subscribe and like and on yeah. constantly promoting yourself he's like taking that moment to promote pewdiepie as who's yeah, the biggest when, youtube channel this was especially a, he got really popular when pewdiepie and t-series were having that battle mm-hmm. trying to see who's gonna win yeah because he was buying a lot of stuff i think they he tried to buy a an ad for the super bowl yeah he couldn't he couldn't, <laughs> he get, couldn't get that <laughs> but um but he he's known for doing a couple things. Mm. He thinks outside the box pretty well. Yeah. He just came out with a video. At this point, it's been out for a little over a week. No, it came out yesterday. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. When when this is we're coming out, our video is coming out. It's been a week now. Yes. But it was yesterday. Um, for us. Yeah. Uh, he basically did like a time capsule. He did. Or a message to his future self video. That he posted on the channel in 2015 when he only had 5,000 subscribers. Saying, this is a message to my future self. Yeah. And he's saying, like, I hope I have a million subscribers. Which right now, currently, as of this week, he has 44 million. Yeah. So um, he, in the video, though, he was like, maybe I'll have a million. Yeah. I hope. I really but hope But even I have if a not, I'm still going to make videos <laughs> and do what I can. It's an interesting concept to get a video. And it's not like he just uploaded it. What he did... Was he recorded it, and then he scheduled it on his channel, which if you don't know what scheduling is, you could just, uh, on YouTube, you just upload a video, and then you tell it when you want to post the date yeah. and time. Um, and so he did that for five years later, this year, in October, Yeah, and it just came out. So five years in advance, like he... He posted it five years ago, mm-hmm. and he said... Well, he uploaded it up, five years. Yeah, uploaded it... In, we're gonna post it five it. years yeah. to this day. Yeah, which was yesterday. The what was it? Uh, October fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth. Yes. No fifth. I don't know. What's One the day? Days. October fourth. Yeah. Um, and it was an interesting concept. Um, it's not like crazy, you know what I mean? But it's very. It, it sparks interest. Yeah, I think, um, especially. Because we kind of talk, we've kind of done this like talking to your future self. Uh, yeah, a lo- very briefly on one episode. Yeah, um, and so you were okay. T- tell me why? Why does this interest you so much? Because you you came to me and said, "I want to talk about this." Well, I mean, for the past couple episodes, going into what number are we at right now? I don't know, one oh seven, one oh seven. But around like a hundred episodes, we were kind of taking that time to kind of remember back to all the episodes we've done mm-hmm. and going back to like season one, season two, and be like, we did that. Mm-hmm. I remember it, but it it seems so long ago. Mm-hmm. And it was, like we started this in, I want to say February 2018. Is that right? Or no. No, 2019. Yeah. Yeah. February of 2019 or the beginning of March. We recorded in February, posted in March. Okay. Um, 2019. Last year. So it's only been like... It's almost been two years. Almost two years, yes. Almost. Um, But just going back and looking and seeing how we've even just grown, like mm-hmm. being able to talk to the camera more or all that stuff, it seems like I didn't think we were going to be that comfortable at the time mm-hmm. or how we would feel now or how we, I would be in Virginia, you'd be in Virginia. Mm-hmm. We didn't think about all these things, but it just seems like it's we're here. Yeah, the t- things change really quick. But yeah, things change, and it's crazy. But I think it's good to look back at your videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So if we're going to have a look back at the videos or what our mindset is, because I know as humans, it, as 
as we're not that old. We're like, oh, well, I'm 25. Yeah, you're pretty old. I'm pretty young. Um, you're an old I'm, fart. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, but we're still in our 20s. I mm-hmm. think we still are trying to figure out some things in life. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> I mean, even mindset. Like, maybe your mindset is going to change in five years. Mm-hmm. Maybe let's just take a moment and try to tell ourselves in five years what we want to still remember. We, I mean, our, it's going to be crazy of, of where we're going to be. Mm-hmm. And maybe we can just edit this podcast, but then cut a small clip out and do like Mr. Beast and schedule it for in five years to come out. <laughs> what about 10 years? Oh, man, 10 years. Will we still have this channel though in ten years? Yes. Would it? Okay. What if we pull like a Joe Rogan, which is probably going to happen, and be posting on YouTube for so long, but we, some better deal comes around to where we just stop uploading on YouTube because our ultimate goal—we've never said we're YouTubers, but we use this as a platform to to escalate our videos, escalate things we want to create our art our art form that brings up an interesting idea because i've been thinking about this so you know a lot of things a lot of people refer to things that they can geek out about as lore yeah you know or canon if there's like rules or details that people want to keep up with what if Since we're not that big, I feel like we might, if we did something like this, we'd have to say it up front, which if we do, this would be it. Mm. What if we have an underbelly to this podcast, an underbelly of symbols, an underbelly of a secret narrative story of characters and a world that's never really a movie, it's never really written down? but there are clues that are hidden around over the next 10 years. And what we say is the, what we say for our 10 years from now is kind of the final finale to that story. So it would be like an underbelly process of 10 years of this podcast. Yeah. Like little clues we drop here and there, maybe on Instagram, maybe in the middle of a podcast, maybe at the end of a podcast. You know, yeah, I like that idea. Kind and of then like at the subliminal end, then, messaging throughout our, and we've done this before. We we can kind of, yeah, we, it's we, like we it's like about, subliminal clues. Subliminal? No, it it would have to be outright clues. We we've kind of talked about. I mean, we have never talked about this, but personally, we've talked about this. Maybe like the first or second season, we've kind of deviated from this a little bit. But how we structured the first season mm-hmm. and second season of the podcast was we kind of mashed with the colors Mm -hmm. and how and our idea was and this was more of your idea and i know you got it from someone else but we are the like the thumbnails of our videos or the channel just overall look with the colors Mm -hmm. it was gonna it was kind of promoting our next film that we were making at the time yeah like the color schemes we would use would promote the color schemes of the next film we deviated from that because we figured out the thumbnails just weren't looking good. Yeah. Since this is a podcast, I wanted something that looked good and was consistent and decided I wasn't going to go that route. But, that's but maybe we can dabble our toes back into that world and say, hey, secret secret messages yeah. that we don't really talk about. But what we do is we, t- we introduce it on this podcast and then we drop clues for the next 10 years leading up to what we're about to record as yeah. the secret. As like the the finish closure of everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I like that idea. But the problem is, if people are invested for 10 years, it would be fun and they geek out about it. But 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, they would be disappointed. Man, it seems like that's so long, but then it comes and it's like, is that long? 2010 was 10 years ago. I know. It doesn't seem that long. But but it will be, it will be long. Yeah. In 2010, I was... Fifteen. Whew. Yeah. I hadn't even. I didn't even have facial hair yet. I know. I'm just starting to grill right now. Okay, let's do. Let. Are you? Okay? Would you yeah. be cool with that? I like that idea. All right. Do, are we just gonna keep talking, or are we gonna get right into the secret message that we're gonna record? No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about the secret message. 
No, I mean, we're not going to talk about the secret message. I'm saying we're going to, are we going to record it right now? Like, just go into it and we just skip this part for the podcast. Um, it feels like we're about to do something bad. <laughs> I, I think we should just keep going. Well, let's, we can, we can figure that out at the end. Okay. Um, but if we're going to, let's go back to telling ourselves in five years and 10 years where we want to be. I'm not just company wise because I know we've talked about that a little bit in the past, mm-hmm. but personally too. Or yeah. if you just want to tell yourself something. Well, we've already done kind of telling ourselves messages for the future. Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, you know what was funny? Mm. Mr. B said, I hope I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, in his video. Which, that's an interesting thought, because we're not Shoot. promised yeah. even a year from now, and yet we're being ambitious, saying yeah, 10 years. Yeah, because it's sober October, we might not even have We tomorrow. might not make it through the month. Yeah. We might die. Um, but there's a beauty in that. There's a beauty in that. You know, I know this is rabbit trailing a little bit. You know Christina Grimmie? Yeah. She sadly died. Yeah. Whoever's uploading, like, re-edits... And old songs and stuff to her YouTube who did it for a while probably needs to stop. Mm-hmm. It's not that we don't want to remember her, but gosh, it's very depressing when you see it. Yeah. If you don't know who Christina Grimmie is, she's a YouTuber who died. She got killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. This is kind of weird. But way back She was when, a singer. She back when we were croutons. I remember, like, you should listen to this. She, she sang this song, remember? Mm-hmm. We were sitting in a McDonald's parking lot mm-hmm. in the old Smobile car that we had. Mm-hmm. It was my car. My car. My car. Mm, yeah, my car. No. My car. Don't you dare say that was your car. <laughs> Are we about to get in, get onto a fight on this episode? <sighs> I've been exercising at all the energy. <laughs> I think you're going to die, man. Yeah, I'm it's not going to die. five days in. I literally just exercised less than an hour ago. That's why I'm tired. Yeah, man, but you got to get the energy for the podcast up. I'm getting there. Okay, that's good. Speaking to myself. Yes. Um, 10 years down the road. All I can do is say, like, I hope a bunch of stuff because we don't really know. Yeah, we don't. I mean, we can create a narrative like we're going to do. We can you can do all these things that are predictable, but you can't predict what you're gonna be at, and you can't even really say I hope something, because what if that turns out to be a really bad thing? Then you actually didn't want it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what if Mr. Beast really regrets being a famous person, having forty-four million people knowing his name? Yeah. What if he really regrets that? But when he was younger, five years ago, he's like, I hope I have a million subscribers. What if forty four million is too much? He's gonna have and he more can't than escape it. by soon, I think. Yeah, but what what if it's too much and he can't escape it? You almost think like what what we think of now is what we hope might be something that we really hate in the future. That you is know? true. So I don't even want to say I hope anything for myself. I would just say I hope a lot of people benefited positively from the work I've done. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope I have good health. And I hope Mackenzie and you have good health and my friends. (laughs) uh, What we're doing now, at least, I've been seeing some, and we can acknowledge, we've gotten a few subscribers this week. Yeah. Sober October did something. Yeah. But I've also seen a lot of People coming out of the woodwork listening to our midnight specials too. Our midnight oh. special is gonna overthrow this one. Yeah, people are liking the midnight special. I mean, at least people we know. Yeah, like yeah. I, people I haven't talked to in years. People like you I, don't know. People I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> people that. Yeah, there's so many people. Mm-hmm. People we don't know. People we know. Does that make you feel weird? Yeah, it does. I, I I'm not saying this in a boastful way, the weirdest encounter that has happened, like the first time that I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing at this point? What am I, what is, I was over at a friend's house, Mm -hmm. actually the Gordon's house, 
Mm-hmm. And they said someone they went to school with mm-hmm. or they knew from school. Yeah. Listened to our podcast, watched our videos, and was a fan and what? kept up with our stuff. And I was like, who's this person? I have no clue. And Do I was you remember like, their name? No. <laughs> <laughs> but they said that. Well, if I mean, you're, if you're watching couple... this and you're a fan, comment and let us know you're the one this was... that the Gordons are talking about. They probably don't know or the Gordons don't remember who it was because there's peop- there's multiple people at this point like that, probably. Okay, if you know the Gordons and you know us and you went to school with the Gordons, comment. Mm. Let us know you're here. I think this was right around the time Dying of the Leaves came out. Okay. Came out. Came out. Okay. So, like, two years ago. Mm Mm-hmm. They said, like, this person listens to your stuff, watches your videos, and is a fan of you and subscribes. And how did that make you feel? It, It made me feel weird. I'm like... It's. It was the first interaction of just, I don't know this person, but they keep up with their stuff. They know why you, kind of. I'm not. And why? I'm just Joshua. I'm a crazy crack dad that <laughs> likes to sleep too much, exercise too much, and Not exercise too much. Too much. You're being much. boastful there. Well, right, during sober October, exercise too much. Yeah, so am I. But and we don't much. just regularly, yeah, eat too much, yes. Eat too much. Yes. El- and... I just enjoy myself a good, like, potato chip and soda pop. <laughs> ah, <laughs> airplanes. But that's weird. Um, I think it's good and healthy to not want fame. The problem is with what we want to do, you have to have people watching you. So eventually you can make money doing what you enjoy doing, which is st- telling stories. And another thing that we're doing that's dangerous for us. Mm-hmm. How is this dangerous? I don't. I mean, yeah, I, I see. Okay, never mind. Just keep going with what you're saying, and then I'll uh, comment what I was gonna say because I I don't know what you're about to say. <laughs> What's dangerous for us is we're we're putting our our thoughts and our ideas and mm-hmm. our conversations and all of our stories mm-hmm. out there for the world to just consume mm-hmm. and. Maybe psychologically it's dangerous for us because we could walk around and be like, oh, these people like feel like they know us. Yeah. Or these people these people know so much about us and we don't know anything about them. No. They could be crazy crack daddies. I hope they're crazy crack daddies. <laughs> That's what we want. We want all those crazy crack daddies yeah. right here listening to us. Crazy crack dads and those wee little croutons. Oh, I hope not. Too young of croutons, though, yeah. because we talk about yeah, some young edgy croutons. things sometimes. Well, we don't. I I don't say this content's made for YouTube when I upload it. I mean, made for kids on yeah. YouTube when I'm I upload agree. it. You don't. It's not age restricted, but it, I I mark not for kids. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, not because we're dirty, but we're also not trying to create content that's for kids. I think honestly, a kid wouldn't listen to five minutes of us talk. You think so? What kid wants to listen to talk? Like two people talking. I don't no, know. they want like bright colors. They want high energy. They want freaking Mr. Beast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, that, man, that's that's an interesting thing. I know this is off topic, but we're long formed, and I am fifty percent of this show, so I can talk about what I want. But I'm fifty. I'm. Can I be fifty-one percent? No. I if want- anything, I'm fifty-one percent. <laughs> Who's the one doing all the editing? Yeah, but who's the one coming up with the topics each week? Oh, please. Oh, please. please. So you have thoughts in your head and you that's how you contribute? Yeah. You show up and talk. Yeah. And you have thoughts in your head and you tell them, tell them to me. I'm here looking beautiful. Um, But I, I can't stand a lot of Mr. Beast content because he decided to go down the route of like, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, really high energy. Yell at the camera. Jump cuts. I can't oh. take it. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean other people don't. So, What grown human likes that? What um, not childish human I think we went it? too much of a rabbit hole. We should pull it back in a little bit. You want to fight me? <laughs> no. We're not, we're not doing something. You're being podcast. far too critical of me today. No. Um... 
if I was going to tell myself something in five years, I just keep creating. I think I said this already. Keep creating. That's the thing. We already said this. <laughs> we already did this. Okay. Oh, you got anything else to say then? <laughs> <laughs> how how long have we been going? Not long. 30 minutes. We jumped in the, this topic way too quick. Um, let, let's circle back around. Mr. Topic Provider, you didn't come up with anything <laughs> else. Let, let's circle back around without saying stuff because we're going to recap on the Midnight Special. How has your week been with Sober October? We never talked about that. I was going to at the beginning and you jumped into the topic. Okay, well, quick. tomorrow mm -hmm. we're posting our next results and this is a week behind so i'm not going to give any points but oh yeah so people have already heard at this point yeah um but i'm not going to give any points to you mm -hmm. but it's going pretty okay pretty Worked okay every day every day i'm on that way i'm all all you know is i'll get at least 100 <laughs> <laughs> for those bonus points of every day bonus working points. bonus points and that's true i I think the easiest thing is just walking, and you say you do that. I think for me, and I know Come this is my excuses. mindset. Get ready. He's no, gonna no, do excuses. I'm, I'm not. I'm not excusing anything. I think I'm gonna have decent amount of points, but I'm. I want to get out there and just run, but I can't run. I'm not good enough to run for like two hours or even an hour. Well, I don't so run for an hour. The easy, the best way to rack up points is to just walk because it will be less strain on your body and you can do seven days a week but you're still getting a decent amount of points mm -hmm. i'm probably not going to do that <laughs> i'm gonna try to joshua's work better out. than me no i'm just saying i, I want to just like run for 30 minutes and then do some weights and be done i'm not out there walking around i'm only walking if like i'm not in town yeah. and i'm busy and I like haven't worked out and it's the evening and I need to get, I need to work out some. And if it's been a long day, then I'll go on a 30 minute walk or I'll go on an hour walk. But I'm not, I'm not just walking the whole time. I'm yeah. working out. How, how's your food right now? My food? Um, slightly more carbs. <laughs> Oh, you're than bumping normal. up the carbs. Not on purpose. All car not on no purpose. Carbs. My body is wanting food right now. Yeah. It's hungry. <laughs> how how many calories do you think a day you, you consume? Uh probably like twenty one hundred. Maybe maybe around anywhere between eighteen and twenty one. That's interesting. I I'm cutting back a little bit of Oh, actually, all carbs except for rice. I'm the only that's my carb is rice. Mm -hmm. Um, so the biggest thing, man, it's been five days at this point. Yeah, I want pizza so bad. <laughs> it's that Italian in me, that pizza, <laughs> dude. You over want the, the weekend, cheese and the sauce and the bread dude, and the pepperonis. I know the the, the pepperoni, <laughs> the pepperoni, dude. That's my kind of ritual. I, I do got these rituals, man. I'm, I'm such a man of habit. I eat what I eat during the week. I try to eat decently clean. Mm -hmm. Then on the weekend, Sunday, right now because of quarantine, I'm not doing much on Sunday. Yeah. So Sundays are pretty open for me. Usually, I'm going to go get that pizza on Sunday. <laughs> it's kind of like a ritual. Sunday's pizza, pizza day, which is something you guys have this ritual of Sun goes down nachos. <laughs> yeah. Make nachos Wait. when the sun goes down. Nighttime you guys like nachos. Do that on the weekend. Uh me and Kenzie like Mexican food too much. Yeah. We like the the taco seasoning flavors and the avocados and the tortilla chips and the freaking hot sauces and the salsa and the, oh yes. I like all of it. Yeah. And the meats, the chickens, the oh, beefs. Man, I over this past weekend cuz we just had a weekend that pizza and the worst thing was it was sunday i think this happened on sunday not sat saturday or sunday mm -hmm. guess what i was in my room doing my thing resting up from all the exercise i did i came out guess what my roommate had pizza pizza and you're like oh no man shouldn't have said i was gonna stop eating that this month <laughs> yeah but i i'm eating decently clean that's pretty good um i'm having a lot of like ground lean beef with rice and then salads 
fruits, and broccoli. That's basically it. Guess what I'm having for dinner? Yeah. Mushrooms and burgers made out of bison meat, oh, but not delicious. with the bread. Okay, sounds Just good. Mushrooms and burgers. <laughs> How you, you keep think? En- you keep ending the conversation. Well, no, I'm I'm not ending the conversation. I, yo, man, I'm I'm just I'm ready. It's five days in, and I'm ready for the the end. Is that bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. You got to pace yourself. I'm not ready for the end. I feel like we just started. We did just start. Yeah. I mean, exercise wise, I'm not. But I mean, the worst thing breaking down wouldn't be the exercise or any of that. It would just be like I'm gonna go buy a pizza type thing. Uh-huh. And you're just, I'll be like Gollum sitting in the corner eating pizza and st- like slapping it against a rock <laughs> to kill it and just, you know, like eating pizza. <laughs> to kill the pizza. Slapping the crust on a rock. <laughs> 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 just in the corner with your little lights on your bed <laughs> that yeah. surround your bed. You turn it to blue to feel like you're in a cave. Yeah. <laughs> so you think you got it. I got it. We're, we'll be good. <laughs> Was that a question? That was a pep talk for myself. Okay. I don't need a pep talk. Not yet, anyway. I wonder how Wyatt's doing. We're not going to call him. No. We're going to talk to him. But I do wonder how he's doing. On the midnight special. Before this episode. Yeah. I wonder. We will have talked to Wyatt. But right now, I don't know. We got to get the schedule in order. I think we're going to keep saying that until many years from now. (laughs) Yeah. We got to get the schedule in order. Yeah, until we just like show up to the podcast because we have producers and ed- people that edit the show. <laughs> we need to stop thinking t- so grand about the future well, of this podcast because we're not there. <laughs> we can cross that bridge when we get there. We will be there in five years. Well, we we don't know when we'll be there. Mm-hmm. Could be really soon. Could be a long time from now. Yeah. I think we don't need to set ourselves up and constantly being like, yeah, one day. Because we'll we'll get there, but we're we gotta we gotta enjoy where we're at right now, you know. Yeah, I think that's important. I'm curious. Yes. Do you think? Well, first, while we're still on the topic of sober October, did you miss any days? Did you skip any days? Did I skip any days? I see. I don't want to give this away without Wyatt being here, but I guess I will just spit it out. I I I got this plan: work out hard five days, six days a week. Sunday, my easy day, which I'm, is what you basically already said. Then, so I'm, yeah, you did skip Sunday. No, no, no. I'm not skipping Sunday, but I'm doing that like stretching, yoga, yoga, more of a recovery day. Mm-hmm. So I'm still doing something. I'm still going to count that as a day because I'm doing something. But it's going to be my easy day, a day to relax mm-hmm. and not physically go to the gym. So what you're saying is you have, you didn't skip any days this week. I have not skipped a one day. <laughs> will not skip a day this 30 day. I will be sick, throwing up, and I will still go. You'll still go? No, probably not. But <laughs> You'll skip a day if you get sick? Yeah. What if you get covid Man, all bets are off if I get COVID. Yeah, I'm going to win. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. If I if I lose it's cuz I let you win. But you're not going to you're not going to win. Well, see, I think the biggest thing is going to be once the midnight special hits, we're going to actually tally up some points, which it's the little teaser come to the midnight special, we're going to tally up some points. That's where all the good Sober quiet. October stuff's happening, I think. And we're going to figure out who's actually in. I mean, because this is kind of, this is a marathon, but it's also a marathon that you got to, you got to hit those four minute miles, man. <laughs> you got to hit those sub four minute miles. What do you mean by four minute? You like, just, yeah. Have you ever run a four minute I've, mile? I've not, but there's people that can. Dude, you. Neither of us are gonna run a mile in no, four no. minutes. I know, but I'm saying like it's it's a it's a figure of speech. It's a uh, what do you call it? A not a euphemism. Uh, 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 what was that? A euphemism? Yeah. What euphemism. is it? it uh, what is it when when you are using an example as for something? 
come on. I know it's 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 on the tip of my tongue. You I know think, it. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap. Whatever. I'm using this as an example for whatever that word is. As we gotta <laughs> starting off, we gotta start strong, but we also have to stay strong the whole thirty days. We can't get burned out in the middle or at the end. That's right. And I'm gonna be that turtle that's just consistent, just going. Yeah, but turtles are still slow. No, but just going. I don't want to be that turtle. You said you're that turtle. I'm going to be the hare that is on his second race and learned that the turtle is going to keep going and has learned the lesson of keep going. So I'm going to be the the hare that's going fast but still going to go fast. And well, not I'm going to be the nap. turtle that's on the third race that's known that the hare <laughs> knows that the turtle is going to keep going. So I, the, this turtle took his shell off. And he's worked out for eight months. So he's months. naked? Yeah. He's going to be running he's down the naked. street naked? <laughs> he's naked and he took his shell off. And he's been working out for eight months and he's ready to move pretty quick. You have quick. not been working out for eight months though. He's ready. This turtle's ready. I don't know. We'll settle it. We're not going to settle it till the end of the month. That's the thing. We still got days and weeks to go. Yeah. Oh, um, I feel like we should acknowledge some people who commented on that video. Who said they were doing Sober October. Oh, yeah. Because there was quite a few people that reached out that I don't even know who were like, hey, I'm doing Sober October too, you know? Yeah. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, well. <laughs> What'd you laughing at? You seen something funny on her? I see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I'm reading comments. <laughs> yeah, a, a mean comment. That's funny. <laughs> a mean comment on our stuff? <laughs> Not really a mean comment. Just a funny question. All right. Um, let's see. Sober October. So this guy named Parker Stewart. Parker, if you're watching, welcome. I'm glad you are doing Sober October. No weed. No alcohol. No gambling. Parker. Yes, Parker Stewart. We also got Simon Smith. He just subscribed to us. That's what he says. Mm -hmm. um, and he's doing just sobriety, which is awesome. Some of these people are just doing sober. I don't know if they're doing exercise, but it's cool. They're practicing self-discipline. Um, Jay Kong said he's doing it. Um, I don't know. He oh, just you're, said, you're "Yeah, just he's looking at." The, I'm just looking at the comments because I said if they would comment, we can we can talk about them on the podcast. Remember? Yeah. Um, someone called Darth Vapor. Yep. <laughs> uh, no vaping for him. Yeah, no vaping for Darth Vapor. Uh, he's he said he's doing sobriety. So awesome, awesome. Those are a few people that reached out, and then someone else asked a question. <laughs> um, something we can talk about. Yeah, because this doesn't really. We didn't bring this into the original episode, but something that I have personally, Joe Rogan, and part of Sober October is not just working out or doing that, but it's more of a class based thing. To where? What does that mean? Class based thing. Class. Let me finish my sentence. Okay. Um, where they take the time to learn something new mm -hmm. or do something new. You know what I'm saying now? So you you you're you're teaching yourself. No, not teaching myself, but kind of setting a goal. Do yeah. you have any personal goals for this month? Because I do. Yeah, I'm learning how to not eat pizza. I'm. I think <laughs> it, it's it's not like I'm learning a skill. Is yeah. that that's what you're looking for, though, right? Well, not just learning skill or just setting a goal of something. Setting a goal of something. Setting a goal of something. Um, I I personally am interested in this idea of if you do something for 30 days then you can change your your habits you know what yeah. i mean so i'm trying to set a goal to see what are some things as far as what i eat what i consume what i exercise when i do something for 30 days does it actually change yeah. you know what i mean will i come to the end of this month and actually want to keep working out like my body wants it now you know mm. or so pretty much I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not really setting a goal for myself. I'm, I'm testing that theory of like, what, what am I actually able to do? Like, can mm. I form new habits? Can I form an ability to do something I didn't, I wasn't previously setting up for myself? 
Um, I think I'm setting a goal of probably just taking every day to get more knowledge, if that be mostly from reading. I want to try to, I heard one ep, once one year of Joe Rogan and everybody that is on his podcast, like Burt Kreischer and all mm-hmm. them, they did a challenge of reading 500 word, 500 pages. <laughs> yeah. Not words. That's not that much. <laughs> 500 pages in that month mm-hmm. on top of everything else. So I think I'm going to join in doing that, but I'm also listening to a couple audio books um, that I'm going to hopefully finish. So that's up. a personal goal that's not that's you're doing for this month? Yep. Um, I'm going to get that 500 page <laughs> couple books probably because I don't have one book that I'm interested in reading. Yeah. I uh I think I'm I think for me it's just testing. Okay. Testing myself more than it is me trying to do something new cuz I I do tr- I do seek out new things constantly. Yeah. And try to teach myself constantly. So I think this month I'm focusing on just like what are habits and how do I form habits, you know? Yeah. Just learn some stuff, test some theories. I think I already got too many habits, man. I do I'm so such a boring person. Maybe I should get out of my habits. <laughs> like <laughs> habits you've, you've set up for yourself that you just do routinely? Yeah. And you don't want them? Eh, I don't know. I've kind of set a routine. Mondays can six, consist of going to work, getting home from work, eating food, going to the gym, coming back from the gym, eating a little bit more food, getting taking a shower, coming over here, recording an episode, going back home, falling asleep. Waking up on Tuesday, going to work. It's like a routine. Yeah, you're, fe- you're feeling it out. I, I know when's the best when's the best time to go to the That's gym. That's not a when's bad the best thing. Time. The problem yeah. with that is that time goes by too quickly. Yep, it does. Time just ticks away because and you're just following the And then five years are going to be down the road, and I'm not going to have the goal that I want to set for myself. Yeah, well, you just got to do it. You just throw your routine off and just do it. I'm going to throw my routine off. Or add things to your routine. Routine's not bad. Habits aren't bad. Well, most most of the time. Maybe, yeah, kick a couple bad habits and yeah, bad supplement habits. them for good habits. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's those aren't bad things. Um, routine's not bad. The, the, it's just negative because time goes by quickly. Yeah. But usually it's that's, that's just involved with discipline, you know? Mm-hmm. you have If you have good, healthy routine habits... Then you've just created discipline, and you're doing that for the betterment of yourself. Now, yeah. if you get to the point where you're, you said you you eat too much, <laughs> maybe that's a habit you need to kick. Yeah. Maybe you need to, I need to bring down my calorie count a little bit because I'm eating more than I'm outputting. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like that. Input. Like you don't need to be a glutton. You need to you maybe need the to right eat, kind of input, the right not amount. the wrong kind of output. Dude, I got to tell you something off the podcast because I'm not going to mention this on the podcast. <laughs> well, don't don't tease the people like that. That's cruel. Okay. How do you think we should f- wrap up these ideas um, before we record the the other bit? <laughs> oh, because if we're if we're going to record that, then this podcast that we're posting is going to be a little shorter. Yeah. Because we're going to record probably 15, 20 minutes of something else. I think at least coming here. We, we, could, we could try to... Well, go ahead. Sorry. Coming here to Virginia, it's been six months now. I've got here at the end of March, the beginning of April. And I... It doesn't feel like that long. You're in eight, month number eight. Yes. So... <laughs> It doesn't feel like that long, but man, it's been, and all I've do, we've done a lot. It doesn't feel like we've done a lot, but we've done a lot. Yeah. I've lived in two different places. I'm trying to figure out my situation for the future. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I had a couple different jobs, technically one job at one place, but a couple different positions, mm-hmm. doing a couple different things. I have done a lot of different things yeah we film podcasts we film videos we went to pennsylvania we went to sheffield we started the midnight special we've brought on wyatt and jamark yeah 
I've talked to like I've done a good bit this year, but this sounds like something we should be talking about at the end of the year. <laughs> well, no, I'm talking about this to kind of wrap up the okay. episode. Okay. And it doesn't seem like that much, but I, in life, this is kind of my five year thing. I'm just gonna throw it to myself. Just keep doing and getting new experiences and don't being afraid to do something. So just just dive into something and experience new things and try to I know it just seems like a little bit of something and this is for me like reading five pages of a book every day. It doesn't seem like a lot. Mm-hmm. Like five pages. Take you what, thirty minutes maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. If that. But man, after three hundred and sixty five times five. You got a lot of pages. Got a lot of pages. Got a lot of pages. Yeah. So what are you getting at? <laughs> I'm just saying, do some. I'm gonna try to do something small every single day to better myself. Mm-hmm. So in five years, I'm gonna be that patina dude that I want to be. <laughs> You're searching for the patina. I'm searching for that patina. You don't think that'll happen naturally? Oh, it's gonna happen. That no. Well, I mean, in life, if you just let yourself go, I mean, you're gonna become a lazy person. You still get patina, but you'll get the wrong kind of patina. You get some of that. You'll crust, get the patina no one wants. <laughs> the, the crusty patina. You get some of that crusty, scratchy patina. Yeah, that nobody wants. So I'm going to set a goal to do something small to better myself every single day. Not saying one specific thing, but every single day I will do it. And in five years, let's see what I've done. That's my five year plan. Okay. Hey. That's interesting. I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. I don't know. I'm in a weird stage of life. Yeah. I feel like for the longest time I was in the goal setting mode with finances, with discipline, with stuff of that nature. And I think I'm in a weird period of time where I'm just kind of like experimenting with the unknown and learning how to be okay with not having any answers for anything. Well, I don't I, think it's healthy to stay here. Well, I think I think it's just the, the place of your life. I mean, you you're married, so your purpose of being here in Virginia and this is not a bad thing. You're here because your wife is going to school here, mm-hmm. which is not a bad thing. So your purpose, technically, being in Virginia, is not a purpose other than being with your wife. Mm-hmm. But that's a purpose. Mm-hmm. So right now, you're seeing these time as just experimental time oh that, it's definitely an experimental time so that, for me that's what that's why you see that my goal that setting true? yeah i I've, I've kind of understood that while she's in school which is a few more years i'm not like ferociously on this path of trying to make this podcast what i'm doing with wise works be the thing that employs me solely yeah i don't think that's going to happen in the next couple years unless something crazy happens where our, our audience blows up you know what i mean um, but I don't, I, I see that we've talked about a lot time, a long time. It's more of like a crock pot. You just, and a hockey stick, it's a slow trend upward. And then once you start going upward, it catches momentum, but we don't know when that momentum hits. You know, what's good in a crock pot? Mac uh, and cheese. Oh yeah. All those carbs. Yeah. Oh, mac and cheese crock pot. I haven't, I want mac and cheese. Um, but ew. <laughs> don't make that sound into the microphone. You nasty. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely an experimental time for me. Yeah. I think I've given into this idea of I'm not trying to be overly confident. I'm not trying to fake confidence. I'm not trying to fake um, like I know what I'm talking about if I don't truly. I'm learning how to be like, I don't know how to answer your question. Or if someone has m- some advice that they want from me, I'm just going to be like, this might be a good idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but I'm not going to act like I know. But you should always still, not fake like you know, but you still strive to be the, the guy in the room that does That's know. the thing. I'm I'm trying to find humility in a place where I'm like, you know, I'm, I want to get back to the basics. I want to I wanna kind of format a lot of things and start from the ground up again. Yeah. I think um, th- there was some time we talked on this podcast about 
monster. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> um, we talked about, I, I can't remember into what context we talked about this, but it's like every so often you need to do this. Don't stay there, but do this. And it's healthy to do. Yeah. You take a rest kind of and just figure out things again. Yeah. Um, I, I obviously don't plan on staying in this mindset, but I'm trying to format my mind in a way to be like, okay, get some humility in your life that's self-inflicted, you know, mm-hmm. and work from the ground up and restructure some things, center yourself back up, try to understand things from a clear mind. So the idea of goal setting is an attractive quality to me as a person. Right now in my life, I don't, I don't have the interest. Maybe maybe it'll be done in a few months or maybe a couple years. Who knows? But right now I don't have the interest in setting hard goals for myself and except unless it's like everyday stuff like I want to exercise or I want to meditate or I want to eat better, which is things I am doing currently. Mm-hmm. And maybe read more. That's an easy goal I could get into. But, you know, just like setting goals for myself, it's I'm in a weird stage and I think it's a good I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't really know. Again, I don't know. It's a, I'm just testing the waters. I think it's good to just figure things out. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Are we gonna end it? I wanna. I wanna caveat what we're. You I know caviar. I like caviar. I, you do. I've never had caviar. I'm we should try lying. caviar on the podcast. We should. We should buy some. Bring it on. Actually, wait. Whoa. What did we eat with? With uh, my old roommate. She uh or uh. My roommate's girlfriend, she had snails. like snails. No, that... no, not snails. Oh, gosh. What did she bring that was really like, and I was like, oh, man, I don't like it. And you were like, Joshua, don't be rude. She loves this. And I'm like, <laughs> man, I'm just being honest. It I was real like fishy. It. I don't think it was fishy snails. Fishy and salty. It wasn't snails because I've had snails before and snails were good. Yeah. Fishy and salty. I don't was remember. Was it oysters? Yes. Oysters, okay. Oysters Slurping out of a can those. on <laughs> on uh, crackers. And if I no offense s- to if you like that kind of stuff. Slurp that stuff down. I was like Joshua. It's like her favorite thing. She's so excited to show it to us. <laughs> and I'm like, Just I'm, I'm have thankful to try it, but <laughs> man, I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really like it either. <laughs> it's too fishy. I don't like things out of cans like that. But um, but I want to caveat. A little bit what we're about to do. Yep. Um, so this is shorter, but it's just because we're going to record more content. If you guys, this is, this. Is, I guess this is kind of like the start of an underbelly geek thing. Yep. This is us feeding into the geek. This is us adding some context into this random podcast that isn't going to be in the forefront, but will be hiding underneath. More than likely, we will not reference this again. And no. I think it's important we talk about this in a serious fashion because we're starting something. Yeah. And you're going to see things that you might think, is that, is that what I think it is? Is that a clue? Is that, Sorry, there's a hair is that, is that leading to something? My nose. Trust your gut because it will be there. And what we're about to record is going to be the finale of the center point it's going to lead oh, to something the finale of the season you know this reminds me this is actually really good yeah because we talked about this a while back when we talked about our tattoos mm. um meaning behind things when, it, when i was referencing this yeah um things that are like secret meanings that people don't don't know except for you yeah this is going to be something like for us that they are going to discover but for like 10 years they're not really going to understand it yeah. Not to its full extent. I like that. It's beautiful. Yeah. So are we ending it? Um, so <laughs> let's end this. No, all the- wait, wait. Let's record the bit and it'll be a hard cut. So we'll come, we'll, we'll end this podcast knowing what we have, what, what we, we will have said. Okay. Is that cool? Okay. All right. What are we, let what me are we re- saying then? All right. Let me restart this real quick. You know, it'd be funny if we just came back and we were like all crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you guys don't know what you are missing out on. Yeah. But we're going to stop talking about it because now it's a secret, right? 2030. 2030. October Keep 5th, an eye 2030. Out. October 5th, 2030.
keep an eye out. How are we gonna remember this, man? Maybe oh, we should it, it'll be a, it'll be in the secret get parts a of the channel, like October fifth. No, <laughs> when it's almost twenty thirty, we'll definitely get a symbolic tattoo. That's a part of the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know what you're. You guys have no idea what's coming down the pike in the next ten years. Well, but we're gonna stop talking about it. Look for it. Find the clues. Thank you Tell for your friends. joining the journey because this is a journey. This is the start of a long journey. We're going on an worth. adventure. Oh, an adventure. An adventure, <laughs> Joseph. An adventure, Bill Bill. Have you ever been on an adventure? It'll be an adventure to remember. <laughs> it's an adventure, Bill Bill. Where are you going, Bill Bill? I'm going on an adventure. adventure. As he well, jumps over a bale If head. you want to... Join us on this adventure of a lifetime adventure. of 10 years at least. Plus, Watch the podcast. Listen to the podcast every single week, every time it comes out. The two midnight times. special. The short films that we have. Can we promote the short film that's going to come out Keep next week? Keep up with Wise Works, with anything regarding Wise Works that me and Joshua are tied to. Yeah. Anything Wise Works that me and Joshua are tied to, there's going to be clues all over the place. And it's important that you search for them and look for them because it's going to take you on a journey that you probably will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining. We have, we're on Spotify. We're on YouTube. YouTube. We're on Instagram, Instagram Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. And, and all the junk. So All the junk. TikTok. Junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all the junk. So go follow us there and listen to the Midnight Special every uh, Friday night at 10 p.m. Yoo-hoo! Thank you for watching. And? And listening. We're here to make nerds out of you. Geeks. Boy. Geeks. Geeks. Nerds. Geeks. Um. Mm.